Kevin Rudd says he doesn't want to be the Prime Minister of a country that doesn't make things. Well, Australia is a country that mines things and Mr Rudd says it's time to diversify. He's laid out his vision for manufacturing and services to do the heavy lifting as the boom fades. But big questions remain over filling the whole mining leaves. Emily Mitterhumer has this story. As the new financial year rolled in, Kevin Rudd unveiled his newly minted ministry and his message, it's the economy, stupid. The core task of uh, this Australian government is to keep the economy strong. Given the threats we face from the global economy, uh, the end of the China resources boom, we've got to make sure we get our responses, our economic policy responses right. He says Australia has to diversify and he's promised to do whatever it takes. But with forecasts showing that mining investment has peaked, the question is how to take up the slack. The RBA is putting its faith in construction as it continues to hold rates at record lows. But an oversupply in some states and lack of confidence may stand in the way. We are actually quite sceptical that housing and residential construction could completely offset a downturn in mining. The Reserve Bank of Australia is making a lot of assumptions for that to happen, one of them being that we'll have a national housing construction boom. And I just don't see it. The latest performance of construction index reading shows an industry well and truly in decline. And it seems that even for those on the front line, a boom is an unlikely scenario. There is a definite need for construction. Whether it fills the hole that mining will leave behind, um, well, it remains to be seen. I don't think we'll get to a, um, a boom like we've seen in the last 10 years. But some say the death of the mining boom is greatly exaggerated. China is still growing at more than 7% and the outlook for the US economy is increasingly looking up, perhaps buying time for the Rudd government. It's not like we're going to fall in a massive hole uh, over the next 12 or 18 months. Uh, I think the bigger downturn in new mining investment will start to show up probably around 2015 and into 2016. So the magnitude of the correction is not huge in the short to medium term, but it will become uh, more significant. New Prime Minister Kevin Rudd has singled out manufacturing and services as the long-term hopes for the economy. To enhance our productivity through our investments in skills, in education, in training, in infrastructure. And today, some tentative signs of life, with the latest performance of manufacturing index showing the struggling sector on the verge of expansion. But the services sector has posted 16 straight months of declines. Kevin Rudd says restoring confidence is the key. To bring about a much more productive relationship between business and labour. While there's much agreement on the problem for the economy, there's very little consensus on the solution.